Hello, I'm Jody, the Youth Services Librarian at the Halton Hills Public Library, and I was asked to share some books that will help you build your skills as a leader. There are many ways to be a good leader, and I'm going to tell you about a few different types of books that might help you on your quest. If you're interested in taking a leadership role in your community, you might consider joining the Teen Advisory Council at the library. As a part of TAC, you will help to shape library services and programs while earning volunteer hours. There's a group in Acton and Georgetown, so you can sign up for the one that is closest to you. You can find more information on our website at hhpl.on.ca slash TAC. Now let's get to those books. The first set of books I'll tell you about are some classic skill building books. What do you really want? How to Set a Goal and Go for It by Beverly K. Bachel is a great book that introduces goal setting. It walks you through how to turn your dreams and values into achievable goals, and then how to follow through on those goals. There are activities for you to work through and tips and strategies to help you stay on task. It's a light read with some fantastic information. A couple other books like it are What Color Is Your Parachute for Teens by Carol Kristen and So You Want to Be a Leader by Patricia Wooster. What Color Is Your Parachute can help you focus in on what you love and how to turn that love into a successful career. So You Want to Be a Leader offers interviews from teens and people in their early 20s with advice on being good leaders. There are quizzes to find out what type of leader you are and ideas for how teens can be a leader in small and large ways. This next group of books are all about being a leader and changing the world. Getting involved in activism is one way that youth can find opportunities to build their leadership skills. This is a great Canadian series that shows how your clothing, smartphones, and conversations can change the world. Written by Erin Paisley, the book Can Your Smartphone Change the World, in particular, talks about how your pictures, social media, and interactions online can have a greater effect on the world than you think. And here are some other books that look at social issues and activism. 101 Small Ways to Change the World is an easy-to-read visual book that has some great ideas that could be a starting-off point for community projects. And Neil Gaiman shares some important insight from his career as an author in Art Matters. Now, here are some books that highlight the lives of young leaders. One book, called No Summit Out of Sight, is about Jordan Romero, the youngest person to climb all seven major summits in the world. It's a real-life story of dedication, perseverance, and resiliency, all of the characteristics of a great leader. Finally, I've put together some young adult novels that have characters who demonstrate different facets of leadership. In the Scorpio races, Puck Connolly is reluctantly put into a leadership role when she signs up to be the first ever girl to participate in the deadly yearly race on her island. In the Scythe trilogy, Citra and Rowan attempt to change a corrupt system in two very different ways. There is no one way to be a good leader, and this book explores that idea in a really interesting sci-fi setting. Lost in the Barrens and Hatchet are both stories of survival. In Hatchet, Brian is the sole survivor of a plane crash, and in Lost in the Barrens, Awasan and Jamie are stranded in the wilderness of the Canadian Arctic during the winter. Both stories teach you not to let the odds of success stop you from trying. As a leader, it's easy to lose your motivation when your goals seem far off or impossible to achieve. These characters show that through hard work and dedication, you should never give up and always keep pushing and striving for bigger goals. All of the books shown in this video are available at the library to borrow for free. You can sign up for a free library card at either branch with your student card. And there are no fines for teens up until you turn 18, so there's no downside to checking out the books today. I hope these books are helpful in your quest to become great leaders in our community, and I look forward to seeing you all at the library.